circumstances. First of all, deception. You are an old man. You are an old man, you want to be natural. And in the moment you need it, you can get ready right away with the help of a kid. And then you can stab, you can hook, you can strike and then hook. But the first stance is the deception old man stands with a cane. Do not advertise that you are ready to fight. Right. So that's pretty much the way we would like to look at you. All right, now, stance number two, fighting stance. Fighting stance, you would be like this because you can hit with both ends. If you have to hit low to the groin, then you can hook, or you can hit to the eye up, and then you can hook the foot and pull. So you can fight with both sides. So let's say it again, let's show again the fighting stance. Yeah, fighting stance, yeah. Okay. Legs staggered. Right. Okay. Facing your opponent, holding the cane with both hands. Okay. All right. Now let's see the first type of defensive strikes. How to block? The blocking are. Uh, the easiest one uh, to remember 360. You can block up, you can block sideways, you can block down. You can block inside and you can block outside. Let's do it again, show it again. The top, first of all, up. Left and right. Left, right, down. And then inside and outside. Yes, inside. You can go inside, you can go outside. Yes. When you say inside, outside, you mean outside the opponent or outside, inside your opponent? opponent. Outside. Example, yeah, I'm coming there. Yeah. yeah. This would be inside, and this, this would be outside. Outside. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. outside. Yeah. Just yeah, I cannot strike. Right. right. And they stay inside, inside. Me, so that I can still fight right. you from here. Right. Inside my life side. After the, the different ways to defend, now we go into basic direct strikes. Yeah, you can strike the groin, you can strike at the throat, the head, and then you can also strike with the, the hook part. So technically the, the, the direct strikes that we do with the tip of the cane. With the tip, both ends. Yeah, yeah are mostly directed to the face area to the stomach area eventually, and to the groin area, okay? Then the other side, the hook side. The hook, you can hook the, the That's the point, the modern strike, they are kind of take down. Take down. Yeah, yeah take down. You can also strike the groin, yeah. hook up, the neck, move over, hook, and then yeah. take down. Yeah. So these are direct sagittal strikes. Now, can you also use the cane as a kind of, so, uh, like a baton? Yeah, you can also use like a, a sword. Yeah, like, like a like sword. Yeah, you can yeah. use this like a sword. Yeah, like some sort of. A, now they are impact yeah. strikes. They are no more strike, yes. direct uh, strike, right. but they are like on the side. Like a, a sword, too, yes. And then you can use it as a deterrent against multiple opponent for for keeping distance. Yes. Takes a little practice that. Yeah. Okay. You can use it with one hand. You can use two hand. You know. Okay. Now the danger of uh, a cane is like any blunt object. When people get too close, then they can neutralize it. Yes. Because if yes. I, you know, grab you. Yes. Exactly. And you have to learn how to. The point is, uh, yeah, we go to a point that there is ideal distance when I am here. Yes. Right now, for example, go a little bit behind. Try to strike me. Right. Now here, I got the, the maximum power on me because right. there is not much I can stop. I'm gonna get all power. Right. But if the opponent gets too far, that's okay for him, of course, and that's good for you too because you're out of trouble. But the problem is if instead gets closer, right. now here yeah, there is no more power. Right. At that point, you know, this is nothing. So we gotta be sure that we work on that distance, distance. you know, yes. keep the distance, ideal distance. And uh, let's look at somebody, for example, try to grab your cane, like right now. What can kick and you can and pull up. Yeah. So that the, the basic thing would be from here, two hands, kick to the groin and pull it up and strike. 
And other ways could be, let's say for example, right now you come and swing at me, okay? And I block it here. Same, Same story. Kick, kick, kick. And pull up. And kick. Now we're going to show you some defenses against grabbing. And this is gonna be from the same side hand. See? I'm grabbing my hand the same side of the strap. You can come up, pull it down, and then you can strike. Do it again. Okay. Now we will do opposite hand side hand. Same thing. You want to go here. Do it again. Cane strike. So let's visualize this cane strike. This area, the throat, the groin area. This is a direct strike, frontal strike. Frontal strike. And then you can have side or slashing. You can hit the temple, right and left. You can hit the elbow, right and left. You can hit the, the knee joint, line, right and left. So we have direct strikes and front strikes this is with the two hands yeah. and you always want to hit the bone bone area not the flesh area always the bone if the cane is hard and it's right. going to hurt right. on, on the bone now we're talking yeah. about yeah. the hook, hook part, yeah. you can hook the neck you can hook the groin you can hook at the leg when you hook, also you do some kind of a pull also with your body. Use with the body, yeah. the two hands, it's more powerful. Yeah, it's not just the arms, you use all your body. You're like, a, you, you step back. Imagine opponent bigger and stronger than you. Yeah. So you, you have to use the body leverage. Do it again, please. Okay. Strike first. Trick. Yeah, you want to go uh, high, low, or low, high. So it will be very hard for him to, to block and counter. That's for, for close contact. The drill. Let's say first out loud, uh, it's gonna be 
from a neutral stance that we try to completely deceive our opponent and then we will go straight with the first straight attack uh, to the face if it's possible and then we will go with the double hand left and right to the temple double head left and right to the elbows double head left and right to the knees and then we ended up with the hook foot takedown or leg takedown let's go <laughs> Good. 